So when do you when do you so basically you've been working with Dev already in the gym? One day, two days, how many days have you uh, worked? Yeah, 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 yup. Yeah. Um yeah, we got a couple days in. Well, how many? How many days? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Yeah, we got a couple days in already, yup. Yeah. How's he look? Oh man, he, he went zero to a hundred, man. He um you know, he was good the first day, but man, the second day it was like it was it was it was it was kinda like um I ain't gonna say surprising because you know nothing surprised me because I know what he got in him, but man, like it was like damn, this yeah, this is what I want to see already, like and it's early. So I'm like, oh okay, bam, yeah, this is what it is. Like this we we gonna get back to this. You know, it was like real good, real, real good. Talk to me about as a coach tapping into his mental, knowing what he's already went through in his last fight with Ryan, leading up to training, coming into the gym. Don't know if you know you you know as a coach you got to tap into the fighters' mental. You know any, any while they're doing good and when they're doing bad. But obviously, you know he's never tasted adversity like this, or ever been in the ring with anybody that you know, has took enhancement um, and performance drugs. Yeah, um, you know, I think it kind of happened a minute ago. And, you know, his dad, him and his dad uh, got a real good relationship and he got a good support system that I know that been, you know, this is what, in April. So now we in October. Yeah. So I that that's kind of put behind, like it's behind us, like it's, you know, we gonna, um, you know, that's that's, you know, that's that's done. It's over with. We moving forward, like and um, and, and he moving forward and he hungry, excited, and you know, he just pretty much just uh, you know, ready to get back in there soon and and uh and, and turn it up and just show that that he still got levels levels to go and, and, and exciting things and improvement to show all of the fans. Did he uh did he say he wanted to fight Ryan Garcia? Oh yeah, damn a competitor man. He he been like that since he was since he was a kid. He always wanted to fight the best. Like I mean you could see that just who who he fought already. Like he never turned to challenge now. Think about it. Never. <laughs> Like that's one thing. Like Dad don't turn no smoke down at all. Like he he um we could see that with the uh you know when he went over to Australia twice he signed on the three fight deal and he honored it. He could have he could have after them Cambosis fight he could have said you know what I got to move up. Which me being his trainer I I I wanted him to go to one forty before them Cambosis fights. And that was the plan, but he he ended up getting a phone call to fight again at thirty five, and it just made sense to stay for the undisputed. So he he didn't have to take that Lumachenko fight, but by him being a competitor and wanting to be great, he took that gamble and he came out on top and he won. So that's just you know what kind of fighter he is and what kind of person he is. Super competitive super competitive so you know we go uh, you know uh we ain't turning nothing down like we ready we gonna definitely be ready so like you know he said mick you know get me ready for ryan garcia type deal um not really in them words but i know it's more like me and his dad talk and we say what we say and we we keep dev just you know just coming to the gym with a clear mind because, you know, dad's still young, you know, he's a young adult. So a lot of times me, me, me and his dad just talk about things and say what we going to do. And we do a lot of the, we do a lot of the, the, you know, we take as much load off of Devin as we can just to make sure that he could walk into the gym and just concentrate and just put his work in. So, you know, I try not to really, I could look at him and tell what he want anyway. Like and and he want what Deb the kind of guy that want 
the highest stake and the biggest risk. That's what he want. He a risk taker. Like he want that greatness. Like, you know, he want to, he want to catapult himself. He want to catapult himself. He don't want to wait till later. Like a lot of dudes say, oh, I'll fight him down the line. It's that he going to want, he want whatever can catapult him to the top right then and there. Like, you know, not being impatient because it's still a business at the end of the day, but I already know what he wants. So I ain't really even got to ask him or nothing like that. I know that he's working to do the best thing that he could do and to accomplish the biggest accolades that he can accomplish. Mm. Now, when, uh, what, what was the re what was, uh, the reasoning of pardoning ways in the beginning when you guys uh, were working, uh, back then? It wasn't really like a part in ways. Like it was kind of more like uh like a member at the time I was gonna fight farmer. So it was kind of like just, you know, like just one of them things, like, man, let me get these last few in. Like I probably would have been retired by now if we I would have fought him. So your main say, focus came, your main focus was like, being a fighter at the time. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You know, I knew that Dev could handle what he had in front of him at Got that you. time. You get what I'm saying? Like, if it's the time to do it, do it now. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm handle, just handle what you got to handle while I'm doing it. Let me, this gives me that opportunity to go do what I have to do while the time is, you know, cluck, clucking, right? Ticking, right? Yeah, like, look at it like this, right? I'm blessed to even know I can still do this at 40, 41. That's then it was a couple true. years ago, two, three years ago. So I'm thinking, like, let me get this in right now because when it's over, it's over. Now that I still feel good and I'm sharp and let me, you know, I could do it around when dad fight. It's just, you know, but that's, that's on the, you know, what I do with dad, I'm full, fully invested. But at the time it was like, get it in and get in and out. Like, you know, it's, it's a business. It's, it's, um, once it's over, it's over, you know, like dad, I'm sure, you know, I could take him to the end of his career. He got 10, maybe 10 plus years and you know um to do this thing but uh no nah, i'm i'm fully uh i think it i think that made it even better to be honest like i'm even hungry and i learned so like i sharpened up even more in this time frame that i've been away that's mm -hmm. kind of how me and his dad and, and me and david we came back together just feeling that like we just felt it in the air so when we did talk me you know me and his pops it was kind of like a laugh oh yeah it's back on like it you know it was one of them type things and it's kind of like um and it's kind of like uh now it's gonna be better than ever because you know i didn't it, like people will see we're gonna show it like you know we action people so we're gonna show it How's the conversation with you and Bill saying, hey, you know, we want you, want you back on the team. We need to get you on back on the team. We need you. Um, how did that come about? Was it Bill saying, hey, we want you as the lead trainer. Uh, I want to focus on the management part. Uh, we just want you back on the team. Talk to me. What is it? Well, well, when it comes to me and Bill's relationship and our working relationship, we know that we partnering up. And when me and him partner up and we put our heads together, like me and him, we might sit on the couch and just be up till, you know, like I told you, I ain't sleep really last film night. Study, like, just you know, straight film study. We might do our thing and just be talking and planning and and stuff like that. So Strategy. we don't even look at it as as I don't even look at it like that. But when me and him get together, it is different than like previous if somebody, you know, was in my what was was in the role that I was in before it ain't the same as me and him. Me and him is like, okay. We partner up. We 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 damn near like uh we putting it together. We in the we 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 doing it different when it's me. We talking, we planning and so it's kind of like an all around thing, the management part. We talking about everything together, who we gonna fight, how we gonna do it, just that, like everything. So and, and, you know, I'm in the gym putting in the physical work. It make more sense, of course. And I got it down. Um, 
but Bill, um, Noah's son, that's the son. So we balanced it out good by him knowing his son and what he think and how he feeling that day and, and those type of things. And, and being able to see and look and he know the expectation of what how dad's supposed to look. So if we looking sharp, it, it's his pop. So he excited, like, damn, there it go again. Like, and then me and him build on that kind of like, yeah, let's keep doing this. We we eliminate this. Let's do this. So it's a good relationship, man. And where ain't no egos between us. We work to good. We work together good. Um, our interest is getting Dev to the to the to the pinnacle. Pinnacle. He already been there and he there, but to keep him there and to do it for as long as possible, and to make sure that when he lead the game, whether it's eight years, ten years, twelve years, he got all his wits about him. Like you know. That's really my main goal is to make sure of all of those things, keeping them sharp, make sure that, you know, I'm glad I could still speak as well my age and, and be clear minded from what I learned. And so, but no, nah, but long story short, no, nah, man, we just work together good. Like, man, we just let it flow. Like when we get together, it's just different. Like, you know, and when I'm with Dev, it's just the chemistry is just like automatic. What's the what's the difference between this time around versus last time around? Obviously, it's like a different stage now when you used to work with him versus now. Yeah, well, he was a champion in as well, but um, you know, I, I like the popularity goes more and more every year by year. Oh, for sure, especially yeah, when yeah, you're undefeated. But, um, yeah, so basically. I learned more even as a trainer because he, you know, I just, I started out with him as a trainer. So even though I had the knowledge and the wisdom, you know, and I credit that to, you know, the, the, the teacher, you know, my main teacher and a couple people I've been under, like, you know, I got to give, you know, Emmanuel Stewart credit to because I was under him when I was a teenager. So that helped a lot. My dad and, you know, I got a couple other pieces that I had. And I got a chance to sit back, think, and by me preparing for a couple fights, it kind of it sharpened my game up so crazy that now it's like I'm I'm like I'm a, I'm a real weapon now for real. I was then, but now it's a wrap. Like you, you giving me a specimen like that, like that. You might as well just hand me a controller, a video game controller, because we gonna have a ball. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's 